<laughs> Sketchy. Hi there, it's me. It's Josh. Who else would it be? Welcome to Sketchy. Something a little different today. I, I think I say that a lot, but that's a good sign, right? That means that I'm uh, changing it up. I'm challenging myself. Uh, this is definitely something very different, though. Uh, I almost always am drawing faces, characters, um, expressions, people and animals. Today it's a house. Not just any house. It's a lovely Victorian house from uh, Cape May. So my family and I and some good friends, we um, spend a week I I in Cape May every year. And in fact, my we spend several weekends there too. My wife loves the beach and I love food. And so we uh, we live in New York. We, we hop on the old New Jersey turnpike and we head down south and we go to Cape May, the very tip, exit zero. And we 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 for years stayed on this uh, one particular street in this one particular uh, Victorian bed and breakfast inn type place. And there was a house on that street that I just uh, say every year, man, I want to, I want, well, what it, what it started as was I want to build that house out of Lego. And I actually had these plans to uh, make a, a Lego version of this house. And I was thinking about the parts and the colors and all that. I was heavy into Lego four or five years ago. Uh, and I kind of just, I don't know, sized my way out of it. I just, I filled my house with plastic and drained my bank account and I could, I had to stop. Uh, but now with art, uh, occupying so much of my time and energy and focus, I thought, oh, you know what I can do is I can, uh, I can draw this house. And I was getting to know Procreate and some of the tools in it. So here I am laying down the rough, uh, Rough outlines, uh, trying to figure out a way to, to render this roof. You can see me really uh, struggling a little bit, figuring out how to represent this very interesting honeycomb roof uh, tile. And uh, I don't know what, it's probably some fancy name for that. Um, a little ambitious for me at this point, getting back, this is, again, this is a couple of years ago, so I was getting back into art after a long time of not exercising uh, those muscles and um, using some of the perspective tools that are built into Procreate, uh, not very well, I have to say. I am pleased with the, with the, ov with the overall uh, quality of how this one came out. It's fine, um, but it uh, it was more of a learning thing, and it makes me feel like I really didn't spend enough time. I surely should go back and do more things like this. Although this is not primarily where my interests lie, so. Um, I'm not going to feel bad about drawing what I like, but, uh, this was, I had to get this out of me. This was, um, something I had just talked about for so long and I started this, uh, I, I don't remember at this point, but I believe I started this in Cape May at the house, you know, while we were staying there on vacation. But then, uh, the bulk of the work I believe is done when I get home and I have, so I took some photos and. I had already laid down the framework. So I'm uh, making the, the tree pink there. Um, I had a reason for doing that. I don't remember it. But sometimes when you're when you're making a multi-layered piece of art, you want to use uh, strong colors to differentiate things so you remember that they're on a different layer or that you just remember that they exist. Because here I am, I'm kind of creating this house, and then I'm going to draw the tree on, on top of it um, on a different layer many, many layers going on here. Uh, you know, just, this is really just an exercise of how much detail to include and how much, uh, how impressionistic can you be? Ultimately just want to suggest this house. I've considered also going up to the door and knocking and, and you know, uh, somehow offering a copy of this to the people who own this little house. It's not an exact representation, but the coloring, it's, uh, it's obvious which house this is. Um, but then, you know, I don't have a physical thing I can just give them, and I don't know if they're, if it's going to be confusing to talk about digital files and PDFs or whatever. So I haven't done that, plus I'm kind of a coward. So uh, this was a, this took hours and hours and hours. You're seeing the sped up Procreate um, export. I don't have an actual screen capture of me working on this it would have just been too long and tedious very interesting to see it played back like this 
um, and remembering all the struggles and remembering how um, it came together slowly and how I kept going back and changing some things. And I just always struggle with color selection. I have a, you know, when it comes to line art, I can capture, oftentimes I can capture and maybe even exceed the thing that I see in my head. But with color, that has never been the case. With painting and coloring, uh, that has never been the case. It's always a struggle. It's okay. I am who I am. I, I am the artist that I am. This, I kind of I kind of like this dappled shadow effect with the tree. That's why I wanted to include the tree. The tree blocks out some of the, the, the elements and details of the house, but it also is just uh, it's what it's like to be there. So I wanted to include it, and I love what it does with the shadows. There's that very specific, I don't know if it's lichen or, or it's not moss, but there's some kind of white fungal scrapings on the outside of the trees there in Cape May. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, now I've added the airbrushed layer of, of, of yellow highlights, kind of the sun washing out the picture. Uh, and it's, it's starting to come together. I probably could have worked on it for hours more. I had to stop at some point, but, uh, a success in terms of learning at least. Um, and, uh, you know, happy enough with it to share with you coming to the end here. So there it is. I thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.